Cliff Evans here with Craig Cunningham. What's up, guys? This is the international team rider for Duotone. Uh, you run the whole team. And... Yeah, team rider and team manager now as well. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. So, uh, what's new with uh, Duotone this year? Yeah. Well, first off, I have to say I think they're like the best graphics we've ever done. The kites look so clean, yet really smart. And uh, yeah, throughout the whole range, I think everything's looking yeah, bright and really, clean. really good. Yeah, you really kind of have something for everyone from like this white colorway, you know, to the greens, the blues. Yeah, there's, there's something for everyone for sure. And uh, yeah, basically today we just released the new Vegas. Last week we rolled out the Dice and the week previous the, the new Rebel. And just around the corner we have the, the new Neo as well that I know a lot of people are excited about. It's our best selling kite and uh, the best selling kite on the market right now as well. Um, spent a lot of time completely redeveloping the Neo from scratch. Uh, even though it was the best selling kite, we wanted to just keep the development going. So and the was, Neo is your, was a wave kite, but it, it works it, for everything. Right? It works for everything. It's one of the kites that we see a lot of the schools using just because of the characteristics that you get from a wave kite with the kite really uh, drifting and moving back in the window. It, it really uh, uh, just super forgiving kite, jumps huge, loads of deep power, and it's kind of just a good all-around kite. As far as being an underround all-around kite, it's probably the most underrated one in, in that regard. But uh, yeah, basically the guys this year went to go try to start the uh, development from scratch just to uh, Get to revamp it, and there's a bunch of new trends, people doing different things with surf kites. And uh, Ken spent a lot of time developing a new kite, and when he thought it was ready, they flew everybody out. And pretty much everyone, especially Airtown, was really vocal about how good the old kites were compared to this one. So they scrapped that whole project. <laughs> Ken wasn't super excited about it, but uh, in the end, what they really did was what we've done across our whole line, and is we've integrated the new trailing edge material, lost a lot of the Dacron, and it's just giving us a cleaner, more crisp feeling in the kite across the whole range, and as well as just a little bit slightly lighter kites. Cool, so what's your favorite kite? What do you ride mostly? I'm mostly these days on the mono, believe yeah. it or not. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of foiling. I'm kind of coming off a double ankle injury. I had yeah. surgery not long ago. And yeah. Um, yeah, I've been riding the mono a lot. Of course, when I'm, I'm getting mono back- the single strut kite. The single yeah. strut kite uh, has a lot of Neo DNA into it. Ken designs that one as well. And for foiling, it's, it's insane. It drifts well. Um, take it out in super light wind and uh, yeah for a single strut the canopy is just so crisp and uh, yeah just like the profile of that kite a lot how it yeah. works when I'm foiling and yeah then when the wind's perfect and uh, those all the, out there. yeah and everybody's in the park I still like to ride the Vegas for sure nice. but uh, yeah for me it's kind of one or the other kind of two extremes like over here with the Vegas or kind of over here with the mono right and if I go on a trip just with friends or a girlfriend or whatever it's uh, usually like a dice or a neo these Somewhere days just the, something that kind of yeah, does everything so now they changed some stuff up on the dice this year as far as the bridle configurations go is they not or the yeah the, the the dice has been highly tweaked um, from not it, it was always marketed as an all-around kite and did a really good job all around uh, but but with guys like Lasse Walker and the Red Bull King of the Air, kind of a resurgence in big air kiteboarding in the last three or four years. Yeah. They really are just pushing this to kind of have like the jumping capabilities of a Rebel, but still looping like a Vegas. And they're trying to just make it a bit more of a free, freestyle, free ride, you know, more a little bit more catered towards the twin tip. Oh, it still really works good in the waves. The dice definitely is a little bit more direct now, um, running off pulleyless bridles and uh, yeah, with Lasse working a lot with Ralph on it, it's kind of being tuned a bit more as a high flyer. Cool. So yeah. So what's the, if you had to choose one thing that was the biggest change or performance differentiator for all the kite range this year, what would it be? Still for me, the click bar. I mean, okay. 
it's, still, it's crazy. Like, still love the, the, the quick course. bar for yeah. me has just changed the way I go about kiting and the way that I. It depends if I'm riding in the in the park or in the waves or yes. foiling. Having the ability to adjust the D power and the throw of the kite by just pressing a button and not having to change my body position. I think when you're foiling and you, you yeah. don't have to reach up and change your body position, you actually can dial things in perfectly. Same with wave riding or yeah. in the park. You really can so, just click so away quickly. and stay on edge or stay, stay with the amount of power you want loaded in those lines. It's just so precise and uh, something that I couldn't imagine now going back to like coming into a slider and being overpowered and like thinking about r r right. reaching up here or coming into a, using the power of the kite to get into a wave and then right. having to reach up here. It's just like, no, you just stay on edge. Chick, chick, chick. And, and yeah, yeah, I mean, that like, click bar is dialed. No one else has really come up with anything as slick yeah. as the click. And <laughs> look at you, maybe that's yeah. some new marketing material right there. <laughs> But uh, over and take a look at it. yeah, where is it? Is yeah, right sure. there's one. No, that's a trust bar, which uh, I mean, that bar as well, tried and true, it works great for everything. Um, let's see, here's one. I've had uh, actually quite a few. I've seen now that we're doing the AWSI here, not in Orlando, a lot of riders from other brands. Are um, having this thing? What's that? Are you using the click? Uh, no, that there are a lot of riders from other brands that are just testing gear. They're oh, right. using it as like a, a way to get their hands on all the newest gear from the other brands, get a little bit of R&D back to the head office. Yep, and good ideas. It, it's funny to me, I had a few of like good friends come up to me and be like, man, I, I finally use the click bar. It's insane. And I'm like, we still haven't used it? Like, come on, it's crazy. I've been crazy. telling you for three years. Yeah. So This is it. That's one, it. One click. You just click away right here. I'll yep. pull on the lines here for you if you want. Can we see this? Let's depower your kite. And then to repower. Exactly. And uh, yeah, you can see your power right through here with a little indicator running through the middle of the bar and then also up your rear line right here. Um, but yeah, it's just a different system. Running the D power off the outside lines allows us to have a super clean inside uh, line here with just a plastic coated safety line, an adjustable stopper, and uh, yeah, that's all you need. It's pretty simple. The other thing I should probably point out that the guys would like to hear is the bar comes with no chicken loop. You get to choose the chicken loop you want. You have four different options. This right here is the free ride loop. We have a bigger one, the freestyle wake style loop, smaller one, which is the uh, free ride loop. And then we also have uh, uh, the slider one? The, uh, no, the, the surf one. Yeah, the surf one. Yeah. yeah. It's got a little metal on the inside. Yeah. Actually, sorry, I should say so I actually, um, so yeah, another thing I should probably point out is that the bar, uh, another thing that I should probably point out is that the bar comes with the option of four different chicken loops. This one right here is the standard one, the freestyle loop. Um, then we have a smaller one, which is the free ride loop. We also have the wake style loop, which is the big one. And then finally, the fourth one, which has a, a piece of metal in it that runs along the, the line in the, the harness, and that's the surf loop. Right. And uh, sure. yeah, just for the surf, the rope sliders. So they don't exactly. So yeah, highly customizable. Ironheart that we've had, super tried and true safety system. Works every time, been there for years, and uh, yeah, that's a click bar. If you haven't tried it, you really should. It's one of those things where it's worth the money. Right. Once you try it, it'd be hard to go back. Yeah. I love mine. <laughs> All right. Well, cheers, guys. Thanks a lot, Craig. Yeah, have a good one. Cheers, thanks, Craig. Bye.